All right, so it's about 10 o'clock right now. Uh, I just got a coffee from Northtown, my favorite coffee shop in Yakima. And what I'm gonna do tonight is drone light painting. What is drone light painting? It's where you can fly your drone, take long exposures with your camera, and take pictures that look like this, this, or this. So back in the day, I put a LED strip around the edge of my Phantom. Uh, this is what it looked like and what I did was I used my drone like a cursor in the sky to fly around and to fly for fun I wasn't filming and just do some cool light paintings um, and it was a lot of fun so now I have a product from a company called PGY Tech and what they are is they are LED lights that go on both sides of your Mavics tonight I'm gonna go out to a very dark place and I'm gonna give you a tutorial about how I shoot drone light paintings and how I edit drone light paintings so if you've ever want to do that I'm excited to show you okay so I just finally got here I'm pretty sure you can't see it behind me but this is called the Sela Creek bridge okay so right now it's time to get the lights on the drone and change the settings in the app to make it so that you can change the color of these lights. These are the lights I'm using. They fold in half, they're super awesome, but these are the PGY Tech LED lights for the Mavic. Just a side note here, if you're gonna use these LED lights on your Mavic, make sure you pick up some original Mavic propellers. I have the DJI Mavic Pro Platinum, and those propellers have a bit of an increased pitch. What that means is where these clamp onto your drone, the propeller will hit. So you need these propellers for the original Mavic that have less of an intense pitch. So I just switched the propellers on the Mavic. Now it's time to throw on these lights. But one of these pod, motor pods is raised from the other one. You wanna make sure that the raised motor pod goes in the front of your Mavic. So you open the clip, slide it over the arm, make sure that it's all the way in and that it clicks. You really want to make sure that it clicks and locks in. Then we're going to go to the back, open it up, scoot it up onto the arm and again make sure you get a click positive lock on this. So now I can spin the propeller. It's completely clear of the locking mechanism because I switched to the old Mavic propellers. And let's see, here's the second one. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the drone. What I notice is when you turn on the drone, these lights it magically know when the drone's been turned on and start changing colors, which I think is super, super cool. So the first thing you'll want to do is you'll want to hit these three buttons up on the top right, go into your menu, go to the remote controller, and right here where it says button customization, I went ahead and turned C2. You want it so that it says turn on off head LEDs. Somehow, PGY Tech has made it so that when you click this button behind the controller, the lights will change. So, right now I'm just experimenting with settings, finding what's right, and getting a perfect base exposure that I can then build these light painting photos on top of. I think that's the shot that I want right there. So I got the basic closure I really wanted. I'll have to adjust the settings and I'll go over that in just a minute. But you wanna make your f-stop higher, meaning you don't want as much light coming in. The LEDs are really bright, so what we're doing is we are making it so that only the LEDs get exposed um, and nothing else. So let's go ahead and do that. So 
So I'm at 36% on this battery. I'm gonna bring it in, review my images, and see what else I can add. Here's my base image, and now I can scroll through and see where on the photo all the light painting things were. So you can see, if I go back here, towards the beginning, I kind of focused on the right side a lot. I came in from the right. So then what I did is I started focusing on the left. Try to fill in all the space that you have. So I'm gonna throw in a new battery, keep shooting, because we want lots and lots and lots of options. All right, I don't know if I covered this, but I'm using a Fujifilm X100S. I love Fujifilm. I love the way they render color. Um, I'm simply just using this because this is my other camera besides the one I'm filming this video on. So let's go over camera settings. So for my base image, I was at ISO 800 at 20 seconds at F2. And if I scroll over to the light painting images, you can see I was at ISO 800 F11 and shutter speed 10 seconds and I did that so that all you can see is the light streak and then I'll composite that over the main base image. All right, so I just got done shooting a bunch of images. I'm so happy with how they came out. I always have so much fun when I come out and go light painting because you just get to fly for fun. You don't have to focus on a shot. You just get to fly crazy and have fun doing it. Um, I took about a hundred images tonight just of the drone flying. I'm doing just a little bit more uh, photography of the bridge just because I'm out here. It's midnight. Um, so why not? It's a full moon. So I'm getting beautiful shadows actually at night on the bridge. So I'm super stoked. Next time you'll see me, I'll be uh, in the studio and we will go over editing. So sounds good. See you then. So now that we've done all the light painting, it's time to take those images and put them into Photoshop. With this method, we're going to be layering images on top of each other. So what we want to do is we want to open the images. And what we're looking for at first is the base image that we shot. For me, um, I like the images that I shot at the end rather than uh, at the beginning of my light painting. So I'm going to look for one of those images here. So I have some images with no cars going across the bridge. I'm actually going to choose an image with a truck going along the bridge. I think that adds a really cool effect. Also, in some of these exposures, there will be cars going along the bridge. And when we layer those, that will show up. So I want to use one um, with some light that's already on the bridge. So I'm going to open this image in Adobe Camera Raw. And just brighten it up a little bit. You don't want it to be too bright because then your light painting won't show up that well on top of the image. So just keep it kind of dark um, while at the same time uh, bringing out some of the detail in the image. So I'm actually going to make it so that the sky is darker, but also so that the rest of the image is still light. So I like that exposure about right there, and I'm going to open image. And what this is going to do is this is going to be our background. This is going to be our base image for these light paintings. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to go to file place embedded and I'm going to look for the images that have the light painting in them which starts at 6024 I'm gonna see if I can batch import these I cannot so there's 24 I'm gonna speed this part up so fast motion now So I've added, I think about maybe 15 images. I'm gonna save as really quick because the last thing you wanna do is have your computer uh, fill up with space and then lose um, all of the placements that you just did. So 
So I'm going to save this into here and I'm going to call it bridge light painting. And we'll let that save for a second. Great. Let's keep adding these images. Let's take a moment and save again because we're putting so many files into one project. Right now the image is nearly two gigabytes and I think I probably have about 30 layers. Okay, so once you have all of your images placed, you need to go to the layer style and change that to screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and change all of these to screen. As you can see, as I change the layer style to screen, more and more of the light paintings show up on top of each other. So once you have all the layers screened, I turn them all off. The only layer I have on right now is my base background layer. I'm gonna find a light painting image that I like the best and I will base all the other light paintings off of that base layer. What that allows me to do is it allows me to create a good balance in the image and so it's not too busy in one area and not busy in another area. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. The thing that's great about doing light paintings this way is you can have multiple different styles of image from one session. So just from this bridge photo session, I might come out with four, seven, maybe even 10 different images from this one excursion. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna play with different variants of the photo and the light painting. And I will show some of those to you right now. So this layering style of making light paintings doesn't just apply to drones. You can buy an LED strip or LED lights and go out and do light painting um, yourself, but use the same layering technique and screening the image to add more light all over your image. So if you have a DJI Mavic Pro, I highly recommend the PGY Tech LED prop guards. They're so much fun. They connect to the drone without you even plugging in anything, which to me is crazy. And you can change what the lights do while it's flying. So you can have fun making people think there's UFOs or doing light paintings. There's a lot of uh, uses that you can use these for. Thank you PGY Tech for making this video possible. They make awesome drone accessories for the Spark, Phantom, Mavic, Mavic Air. They have a ton of different accessories. So I'll put a link in the description for both the LED prop guards for the Mavic Pro that I used in this video, but also some of their other products that I really enjoy. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I have so much fun when I go out and do light paintings. It would mean the world to me if you gave this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave a comment if you have anything to say or if you have any questions, I'd love to answer them. And subscribe to my channel. I'll be making videos every week. Thanks and see you next time.